Um, would you mind doing like a <laughs> do like a sting for us, like a you watch and start a riot, click subscribe or whatever. Start a riot. You better not pass it out. <laughs>Hi guys, I'm here with Always on Drugs. Hello. I uh <laughs> I got Jason and Demo. Uh so I guess the first question has to be, are you weird? Pretty fucking weird. Yeah. I just think everybody else is weird to be to be honest, like us as five people are pretty normal. Hey, it's all you guys, man. You're so strange. <laughs> I swear. I swear. How's the tour been going? It's great, it's been awesome. It's just been fun really like I'm really like a bit of an eye opener to what bands on a massive scale are up to. Yeah. How much work we're putting, but it's been a good laugh. Like played in Portsmouth, and we're not playing there before, which would be nice. That's cool. We're in a leisure centre. Mm. Like you could, you could go into the venue, you could smell the chlorine. Oh really? As soon as you went yeah. in, yeah. <laughs> no way. So what? They have like a side room, like a gym or something. Yeah, there was a gym near the dressing rooms, and there was Just, a pool as well. Yeah. The other side, we didn't actually get to see it, but it was beautiful. It's right on the coast as well, and. Um, a really nice skate park next to it and everything. It was a bit of gutting, but we were just there for a day, really. I know him. It's a nice place. Yeah. yeah, people are really friendly. It's got quite a good scene from what I can... Yeah, tell. to be fair, it looks like every everybody was well up for like music and that. And you could just see people who looked like, you know, stereotypically might look like they're into bands just walking around with town and everything. Moshes. Yeah, them, them mishmoshes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moshes, man. <laughs> Uh, is this pro the biggest scale shows you've done? I oh, mean, yeah. you played Leeds and Reading last year. Yeah. But uh, is this bigger? Yeah, it's top tier. Like, the first night was double the size of anything we've ever done. Oh. And then it, we just played Wolverhampton Civic Court with double that as well. Well, it's wow. like just over 3,000 people. And like tonight's like 2,500 people. It's just it's fucking unreal, really. Like 20,000 people in 10 days. Yeah. yeah, we're just working it out early in the van. Like, less than 12 months ago, we played our first London show. And next week we're playing to 4,000 people in two nights. Wow. So Where it's just like, come out of nowhere, really. Like, Where is the lunch? Um, Roundhouse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. It's really nice. In there. Uh, I've been told it's like quite a famous venue, but... Mm. Oh, it's because I'm <laughs> uh, So your sound is pretty different to anything that's, that's out there at the minute. I mean, it's pretty weird, as you say. Um, is that a deliberate choice or is it just kind of what happened when I you... Mean, it's just because we've got better music taste than all the other bands out there, really. Yeah. Like, generally, because like, he loves Nickelback <laughs> and Simply Red. It's in Limp Bizkit, like, and I think that's just down to... That's probably why we're so good. I was going to, um, I was going to try and guess some of the influences rather than just ask you outright. Go on, then, so, I saw, like, about ten different interviews where you all said you love Deftones. Yeah. So, I'm not going to guess that one. Last time he was here, actually, I've seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, this is where you watched him. How smashed were you, mate? Oh, it was yeah. here, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Here. All right. This venue. This exact room. Same yeah, stage. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> I saw, I saw yeah. Deftones at Sonosphere last year. Oh, they were awesome. Yeah, was so great. good. I saw him in Shepherd's Bush three years ago. I think we were playing some festivals with me. It was like Animals as Leaders and Paul Power by Horses and then me, me and um, friend were on the balcony. We were in the first song on the balcony. It was like <laughs> literally fucking rocking with wow. the building. It was crazy. Nice. Uh, so I guess mothers. Uh, Pixies? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think the Am I Weird video is quite similar to the Here Comes Your Man video. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. I wanted to, I really wanted to like do you know the big head thing. Oh yeah. yeah. I wanted to do that but I love that video. Pixie's one of my favourite bands, so I'm I'm all over that shit. Uh, Nirvana? Yeah. yeah. Well, not so much now, but, you know, younger. Oh, well, they new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we get a Nevermind album? Then? I used to sort of live at Bananas a lot, and everybody in that council estate got through my album. It was like the only thing I ever lent out. I came back, like, fully tapped, like, all these kids actually, like, appreciated the CD. I can remember be like ten of us going out for a bit. Polly wants a cracker. <laughs> we got rice in them. Man. Everybody learns how to play Polly on the guitar yeah. as well. We actually listened to it on the way. Yeah. Weird thing. Uh, <laughs> Incubus. Yeah, I, I, like, I, Incubus. I really like Incubus. Yeah. He's not into that. Yeah. I really like Incubus. I think Connor's really into him as well. Yeah. 
Tracy. See, I can hear like little shades of incubus. Hmm. I mean, you haven't got a DJ, so yeah. it's kind of you're missing the shot. Not yet. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Get one of the Shikari boys to uh, get on I the I don't think we can afford him just yet. <laughs> So there was a noisy article recently about um, how many great rock bands at the minute there are and how many of them also have like day jobs. Yeah. Uh, like Baby Godzilla and Name Checked in there. I know you played with them yeah. in Liverpool last year. Um, do you find that something that you guys have had to deal with as well, like having day jobs? A little or? bit, but I mean, like, as it turns now, none, there's only Connor working and that's more out of choice. He, like, he likes to do things like... Mm. He doesn't want to be at home for two weeks with nothing to do because he lives on the A1 as well, like in a, in a farmhouse. So, like, he's, he's out away with everybody. I think he just likes being active. But, I mean, I don't see it. I mean, you can, some bands can sort of say, oh, they can't make a living off it, but it just depends what they like to live a life. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised if these bands who say they can't live, earn a living out of it like, might want to go on holiday four times a year. And then, you know, no wonder they can't make a living out of it. Yeah. Depends what you're used to, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm used to having nothing. So, for me, in terms of where we're going, it looks like I'm pretty much going to be playing music and not have to work ever again. Yeah. Well, you but just I, I can make that happen, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't need four holidays a year if I can't yeah. afford it. I'm not going to complain about not being able to make a living out of my band, but then want all the luxuries of life as well, because you can't get everything, can you? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You've just booked a, a massive tour March and April as well, so that's going to be like pretty time intensive as well. Yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's just all we wanted to do. Like We started the band and we used to practice five days a week before we'd ever gigged and we were all working then as well so it's like five days a week at work five days a week in practice just cause it's fun man you know what I mean like, yeah it's good the one thing like I watched a lot of interviews this week in like preparation or whatever and uh, the one thing that does come across is you do all scenes like really get on like it's not a Blink-182 affair you don't uh, like. yeah, <laughs> we like fucking we love winding each other up like honestly I get no more enjoyment out than pissing him off like so much and he, he, he does the same, like, but he does it more subtly. I don't realise he's doing it to me. I actually just think he might be acting like a dick. But no, he's just, it's all in my head. He's working them cogs, pissing me off, you know what I mean? But he's just got a lot of respect for each other, I guess. Because we don't, we, sometimes we're not really into the same things, like, in terms of art, but just how it is, really. I think for for what he likes, and I don't like, and I like, and he don't like, we like the things we do, like, for the same reasons, necessarily, if we don't like the same art, so. Yeah, and plus, to be honest, I, I like, I've listened to Damo's music for years. Like some of the songs we play now, I've seen him play in other bands himself. So, yeah. Damo's thing is, is if, say, if I put an idea to band and being like, yeah, really enthusiastic, even if he thinks it's ace and agree at first, he'll go, nah, shit. I just wait for me to boil up and be like, what the money made me, shit? <laughs> Think about it, mate. Think of it. Like, no, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but so like, I've gone from ten minutes of constant rage, like nearly having a heart attack, <laughs> like. <laughs> Are you like the, the balancing factor or do you literally just do it to wind him up? Just wind him up. Just him. Really? So like, I'm from St. Helens uh, near Liverpool. Don't know if you know it. From Castleford. Oh, yeah. Might be rugby yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so quite a small town like Castleford. Uh, do you feel like that kind of contributes to your... Like, you're quite a close-knit group and, you know, you go on tour together around the country, but... Like you stay together all the time, and uh, something like do you think it contributes to your sound as well? That's quite different. You know, it's not doesn't sound like a lot of Leeds bands or a lot of Manchester bands or whatever. I guess in terms of not having like a set scene, it does because we have kind of just made music for the sake of music we want to make. Like I've been in loads of bands before, and I'm not even liked for music, but I like I like for people I was in a band with mm. and. I thought, well, this is better to be, at least I hang out with people and doing something and building experience than just being on my ass, Joe, waiting for the band and the music I want to, because that wouldn't have just come without doing that, like, and that's how I ended up falling into this band and starting it up, and it's really good, but, but I guess it's it's good and it's bad, because, like, we don't really sound like many bands, or I don't think we do, but it's not, like, honestly, it's not so much as, like, we're trying to just be like, oh, let's not sound like anybody, it's just, just do what we want to fucking do, like. Don't matter what other people think. Like some people love it and some people hate it, and that's that's fine. You know what I mean? You shouldn't do something for the sake of approval. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's not really clicks or anything in cash. Like in big cities, there is. Like, yeah. Certain and kinds of music and that. I mean, there's a lot of metal car, but I mean that's everywhere. And it's like, mm. They get everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's like moss or mold or something. Cats. 
Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, easier in cast like. Well, it's not easy to you know really get anywhere unless you work really hard. But if, you know, it's easy to not fall into a click because there aren't any. Really. Yeah, but <laughs> play, you can play like um, fund of a fastest and start a cover band and play the same pub every Friday and probably make a decent living and get pissed out there. Like. Yeah. But like, that's that's when we were growing up. There's a lot of cover bands on make cast like. Oh yeah. You could go out at, like fifteen and get served. And cast are just one big cover band. Yeah. yeah. Just an ACDC yeah. song that's all it is. <laughs> We uh, we had similar. There was this place called the Sit Down St Helens. Every month they put on like a showcase of bands. Yeah. yeah, they were all all like the same band, just playing the same songs. Because when you're in a little town and get little things like that to your music, like, remember, can, can, can't can't there's in Pony Yeah, like this little rock club and a student night would serve you for your thirteen, and we knew we were serving underage people. We're just trying to rinse it for money. And you knew what time you had to go home because we say play the same playlist every week. So like time wild would come on, and you know you'd need to run for the last bus. Yeah. Like, and the drowning pool came on yeah. five times <laughs> and this little pub just erupted and were nuts like the smallest place you could ever imagine just kicking off people pitting just to a DJ 